Hey guys, it's Vaughn. If you're new here, I'm a YouTube vlogger, but I'm also an autism mom. This is an ongoing video series where I share my experience as a new mom to a little girl with autism. Ann, Ann, I, I'm just, I, question. Why are your toys in here though? Ann, but, but why are they in here? Hey guys, it's Vaughn and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, I don't think I said that in the last vlog. Happy New Year to everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Getting Ann's Toys in Check. <laughs> This is just a random weekday and in an effort to vlog a little bit more frequently, I am trying to kind of get a little bit of a schedule going. Probably every Sunday we will see. We will see. I wanna share a little bit more of random life moments with you guys, some things that I think will be helpful to you all. Also some things that I think will be a little entertaining. So we will see how it goes. Feel free also though if you guys would like comment below your suggestions on videos you'd like to see. Just to start off, I know that you guys wanna see a fitness video about Anthony's weight loss. He's lost about 35 pounds. So that is coming soon, but if there are any other requests, feel free to put them down below. So for today's video, I am just giving you guys a quick update on Anne's Christmas toys that she did get for the holiday. Kind of like an autism mom slash just regular everyday vlogging type content because I did get some questions about how she reacted to um, some of her new toys and I did get some other questions about just things in her room. So I'm just gonna take you guys in there and we're going to kind of talk a little bit about how it's been going. <laughs> because right now all her toys are in here. So we're gonna go ahead and put those back in there, okay? So Ann got home from therapy about a couple hours ago. Her in-home therapy is about to start in about half an hour. So in the meantime, I am just trying to kind of organize her room a bit because it was a disaster a little bit ago. Just to have everything be kind of in its proper place when, before her therapist gets here. Come on, girl. All right, so here's her room. If you guys have not seen her room tour video, I will link it for you for some of you guys who might be new. Oh yeah, a few people were asking me about the paint colors in here. Her entire room is lambskin beige by Sherwin Williams, and then there is an accent wall where the window is here, which is terminal taupe. So these are her little storage bins over here, you guys. I organized them a little bit more the day before Christmas, just in preparation for all the new toys and stuff, but even with doing that, I still needed to do further organization, just giving all of her new toys a place to live. What you guys see here is a new system that I am putting in place for Anne. Someone actually suggested this on one of my videos. I don't remember who it was, but girl, thank you. She had suggested in order to keep from Anne always doing this. So what she'll do is she'll take the bins out and she'll just dump them out. It just really makes a big old mess and it's, it's actually overwhelming for her once she does it. So it's not productive, she doesn't really get to play with anything. So someone suggested that I take these types of toys away from her reach um, and put them up somewhere so that she can request them when she wants them and I can be more involved with helping her play more productively with it. So what I'm gonna do is use one of these storage containers that I got off of Amazon. I'm just gonna put all of these little pieces of puzzles and things like that in this thing and I'm also storing all of the actual puzzle boards, right? The wooden board parts up here. So she cannot access them unless she requests it. And for some of you guys, that may seem like an obvious way to address this. Some of you guys might've been like, yeah, duh, Vaughn, you know, but you know, I'm a first time mom, you know what I'm saying? First time mom, first time autism mom. There's all these firsts, all these things I had no idea of. And I'm just trying to feel my way through this thing and figure out what is the best way to approach pretty much everything with my child. And so my initial thought about toy storage is just to store toys, you know? It never crossed my mind that she would do things like this with her toys or that this would be something that would be holding her back in terms of her playing with her toys appropriately. So all this is kind of new. This is just one of the many ways that I'm trying to get a handle on how to really set up her life, how to make things work for her and for us as a family. So this is just one of those things. <laughs> there she is with her, one of her little fake carrots. And come on in, come on. Coming in. Okay. Alrighty. So, 
some of the newer toys and things. So she got her little kitchenette set. I built this thing up, you guys, in about two hours or less. Not really quite sure, but it was not that hard at all, and it's very sturdy, and I love the way that it was designed and put together. So no issues with this thing. If you guys want to learn more about this particular unit, I'll put the link below. Very affordable. It was like $85, and it's really, really nice. So, so far, so good with this. Comes with a couple little cabinets with the little shelves and everything. Super cute. And um, it comes with this stove that can kind of light up a couple different settings which i thought was really cute this is battery operated and it just it's kind of a little piece that just fits down in there you can take it out same thing with this sink fake little faucet that actually has moving parts very cool looks very realistic and Anne actually likes this faucet she's taken to it very well so far the only thing that she's really been playing with with this unit is the sink and it also has a fake microwave even with the fake little disc there so that was really cool and all of it has like that magnetic um, clothes on it so it kind of stays shut very very nice this actually goes with this and then it has like the hook and loop in there and then you can like fake cut it so this this like helps with her uh, fine motor skills and things but also helps her with pretend play we haven't had a whole lot of success with this just yet but we are not giving up her felt food and its own little basket here This is what she likes to do with her uh, toy food. This is all she likes to do with it. Just dump it out onto the floor. So she's not playing with it appropriately at all, but that's something that we are definitely working on. I wanted to show you this cute little area here. I had written Ann's Market on here with the chalk, but um, she ended up erasing it, and I don't know where the chalk is, so yeah, but it was real cute though. I just flipped her crate over and we're just using it to kind of just store her little fake food and stuff. Before the day is done, she's going to come over here and dump all of these out and it's going to be play food all over the floor. I'm pretty sure of that. But this is ideally how I'd like to kind of store it and display it because, I mean, it's kind of cute for this little corner, you know, her little kitchen and stuff. So it's kind of cute. She can put together like little sandwiches and make breakfast and different things. And I like how there's like a little something from every food group been trying to keep it in the crates like this but again she's probably going to dump them out and you guys probably saw from my last vlog that my cousin had gotten her this little chef outfit thanks again Tiara. she said she got it from ikea and she just embroidered um the kids names on there and everything i thought it was so cute look at this one it says cold quit family kitchen it's so cute put this on let's see how cute you are let's see how cute you are with this stand up let me tie it around you let me tie it around you. I had tried this on her when we were in Virginia, but um, she was right. not feeling it, hun. Here, let's put the little hat on. You ready? One, two, three. Hey. Look how cute you look. Are you gonna cook mommy something? Make me a stew, Ann. Make me a stew, okay? Stand up. Okay. Ann, Ann, stand up, okay? <sighs> Ann. Look, Ann, you gonna make me a stew? Are you gonna make me a stew? Yay, put some food in there. Put some food in there. So she turned the buttons on, so that's fun. Okay, here, Ann, put some tomato in there. Put tomato in the stew. Look, 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 whoop, put tomato. Yay. I gotta get her some utensils for this little stove. Look, Ann. Trying to put the lid on there. Good. Now let's put it on the stove. Come on. Let's put it on the stove. Look. So you can cook. It has to cook. It's not ready yet. Wash your hands. You gonna wash the lettuce? Here, wash the lettuce. Okay, so she's kind of playing. She's kind of playing. 
and escaping and everything. That's that's normal. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. The present for her that I was most excited to get this freaking acoustic guitar. So far, so good. She really likes it, but she did break one of the strings on it already because she jumped on it and she doesn't really understand how to hold it properly in order to even pretend to be playing it. She knows how to strike the strings, but she doesn't realize how to hold it. So we're still working with her on that, but I would still say that this gift was a success because it makes her really happy. We just got to teach her how to properly play with it. Another thing that we got her were these dolls. I went ahead and made like a doll bin for her Barbie and all that stuff and all these baby alives and everything. And actually got three baby alives for Christmas this year. It was really crazy. They were all like different themes and different sizes, different complexions, different hair texture, but they were all like the black ones and stuff. So I was really excited about it. But She's, she doesn't care about these things. She has not taken to the doll thing at all. And some of you guys said that she probably wouldn't. Some of you autism moms out there. And then also I kind of knew the possibility that she wouldn't connect with them at all either. But it's always worth a try. And this drawer is always here for her if ever she decides that she wants to pretend play with the dolls. But so far, she doesn't give a damn about these dolls. And one more thing that I wanted to share as an update with Anne's toy situation is this freaking cat that um, my aunts, uh, a couple of my aunts came over with some gifts for Anne. And one of them was this kitty cat girl. It's um, a little mechanic cat and it does like all kinds of stuff like stands on its hind legs, it flips over, it purrs, meows or whatever. I don't, I don't know much about cats, y'all. I'm not a cat person at all. I only do dogs, okay? But um, she loves this thing because it's just like really animated and it has like a sweet little soothing sound. So she really likes it. And the thing about this little cat, y'all, I don't know like what brand this is or like what, but it's activated by clapping. So when you clap your hands, the thing does stuff. So that's been working out really good for us because um, clapping is a motor skill that we do want to work with Anne on. So if we can use this cat as a reinforcer for that skill, that's better for us and it'll help her and everything. So really been loving that little cat. So I'm probably gonna wrap this vlog up here, you guys. I know it's kind of quick, but I just want to pop in with this quick update because I know a lot of you all were talking with me about like what toys you thought would be a good fit and what ones you thought would not be. So I just wanted to give you all an update and let me know down below what video ideas you guys have and also if you would be okay with Sunday uploads. We can start with Sundays and then we can kind of build on that and maybe add another day of the week in there. But let's see how me sticking to the Sunday schedule works but let me know what you guys think about that and I will talk to you in my next video bye